Today I'm starting my adventure here in Fairbanks, Alaska. But last night I got a call from one of my new friends, Luke, with the Outdoor Boys, and I'm gonna go help him in his off-grid cabin. So I'm excited to help him out with just some tasks around the off-grid place. Got myself a rental car and I'm out here in Alaska. This year Alaska has gotten insane amounts of snow, over a hundred inches in some areas. So I originally came up here to start trying to do a snow camping video. But of course, when I got here, the weather switched and now we're kind of in a heat wave here. Uh, it's getting up to 40 degrees in the day, still staying below freezing at night, but building a snow cave in soppy wet snow and going to bed wet does not sound like a very fun idea. But last night I got a call from one of my new friends, Luke, with the Outdoor Boys, and I'm going to go help him in his off-grid cabin. So I'm going to knock out some of this drive. Might have to stop for gas and some groceries along the way. It sounds like he's having some snowmobile issues, some mini truck issues, and I'm excited to help him out with just some tasks around the off-grid place. I'm going to go ahead and knock out this drive, and before you know it, we'll be there. about two hours into the drive and we're going through Denali National Park right now. It is an absolutely gorgeous day, 40 degrees, full sun, feels like might as well be 70 out here right now. It's, it's nice. I ended up stopping at a local Asian market to grab some groceries. Luke gave me word that his kids love Japanese Mabu style tofu, so maybe we'll cook that up for dinner. drive got about 15 minutes left it's about time for me to give mr. Luke a call here hey yeah. howdy sir okay oh, you're about 20 minutes away yes sir all right we'll see you at the parking lot all right sounds good see you soon all right see you soon Bye. sweet I'm really about 10 minutes away but I definitely could spend uh, 10 minutes cleaning up the truck and getting packed. There it is in all its might and glory, the KEI truck. Luke was saying that this apparently has some uh, starter issues right now, so I'm imagining we're going to have to jump it. But first things first, I've got some camping gear that's brand new that I gotta depackage so I'm not bringing a bunch of trash out to the house. I hear something. Got a gift for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. All right. You want it right behind there? Okay. I'll leave the engine running. Yeah. Does he let you drive it ever? No. Dad, one of the cables came on hook. Oh, did it? Right there. Here, I'll get it. All right, it should be hooked back up now. Wait. Yeah, the, neg the negative's hooked up too. Is it diesel or gas? 
Oh! Whoa! It worked! <laughs> nice. Dude, you know, we gotta we gotta figure out what it can do. Yeah. And you know, now's a good day to try it, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, cool. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> The, your snowmobile was? Yeah, this one. That one's Arctic cool. Cat. Yeah, that's sweet. My first snowmobile is an Arctic Cat, too. Oh, sweet. Yeah. You think we'll make it, Tommy? <laughs> You're 50 50 on it? I've, I've only taken it on the snow one time, so this is going to be a learning experience. But, uh, yeah, like today, like I said, we're going to get stuck. Today's the day that, to, to learn the so, I'm excited. Uh, all right. <laughs> How do you, how do you get near? Yeah. A little yoga practice. It's, <laughs> it's tight. Yeah. It's, it's it's tiny and cute in here. Yeah. Nice and cozy. All right. All right. We're uh, I'm driving the KEI truck. We got it started. Luckily, it was only a dead battery. So those jumper cables, those jumper cables worked. Now I've got a little bit of experience driving right-hand drive stick but I've never driven anything with tracks on it, so I'm hoping I don't stall this thing and embarrass myself first try. Yee! You going behind me? It's always nerve-wracking driving a vehicle that isn't yours. I haven't, like I said, I haven't driven anything with tracks on it before, so it is definitely eating up all of the horsepower, as Luke said. sketchier so Luke's taking over in the track truck and I'm hopping on the snow machine for a little bit here all right we're gonna take this thing off-road see how it goes Okay, we're off the road. We're four by it now. It's doing pretty well. Woo! It's a little soft in some places. Oh, shoot! <laughs> That's deep. So those aren't little trees. Those are actually the tops of trees. We're going to have to get turned around here and see if we can get Luke out. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I think we're yeah, I think so too, Tommy. <laughs> just stop it down a little bit. Yeah, just try to round the edges and stuff like that. Kind of push the big pile. Yep. So then you can kind of kick that snow out of the way. All right, so we got the machine stuck here. Holy cow, what just went through? Um, you can see it busted through quite a bit there. I think there's a good chance I can back it out, but if I'm wrong, it's gonna dig a big old hole and we'll really be in trouble. We probably shouldn't goose it too hard, right? Because he might get dug in. Both of us might get dug in. Go, go slow. 
All right, he's gonna give a thumbs up when he's ready for me to pull, so. Well, he pulled it out and got stuck again. Luke's moving the snowmobile right now. Probably been stuck for like, I don't know, 45 minutes. Keep going straight back. Straight back. Am I doing good? Yep, turn more this way. Okay. All right, we're unstuck. Luke's grabbing the snowmobile and we're getting this thing parked because it's a liability right now. Absolute liability. These treads on these aren't very thick, so like, it's just sliding all over. And on that unpacked snow, it was so unpredictable. I'd be like, oh, you're going, you're doing good. And then all of a sudden he'd slide to the right and be like right next to a tree. So he uh, knocked the snow off the roof at least. You can see all nice and clear up there now. We tried it. It's just a little, little sketchy. Home. Snuggle up, Buttercup. Here we go. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, there you go. My battery dies. That's good timing. Yeah, that was perfect timing. Ah. Hey, here. I'll show you the, the main. Sounds good. Main cabin. Hey, boys. Hey, guys. Let me introduce you. What's your box of show? Mr. or Mr. Mr. Mav. Mr. Mav. <laughs> yeah. Mav. Hey. Mav, if I call you Mav. Yeah, you can call me Mav. That's cool. Can I call you Maverick? Yeah, you can call me Maverick. Yeah. Whatever you want. Nice uh, to meet you. What's your name? Nathan. Nathan. Jeff Colton. Jacob. I'm Ty. What's up, Jacob? What's up, Tyler? Jacob. Tommy. Tommy. I come bearing gifts. So since you're watching Japanese movies, they're boba milk tea flavored jelly beans. Ooh. Here you go. Those are crazy awesome. There you go. Wait, you got boba flavored jelly beans? I know, right? And then I got some stickers for you guys if you want some. I call blue. I call blue. I call blue. You like blue? Right, what do you guys say when you Here's blue. You Thanks. Thanks. You're very welcome. Here. Here you go, Tommy. And then I got you guys a frisbee too, if you want to play frisbee. That's awesome. You want, you want a little frisbee? frisbee. Dad. Well, then, Luke, I got something for you too. Oh, a back roller from <laughs> here because you're probably getting sore camping. And oh gosh, I'm so old. Yeah. So, oh, I've seen these. Yeah, you like roll on them and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'll have to try that out. Back. Awesome. Yeah, please. And then I got you a couple chocolates. Oh, jeez. Man, I don't buy chocolate much because my wife's allergic, but I really love it. Guilty pleasure. That's perfect. Thank those you. are those bobas are great. Those are, you like them? Yeah. Yeah. We made it to the cabin. We're moving some bunk beds. Yeah, no bunks instead of the wood ones. The wood ones, unless they're built like with four by fours, they always feel sketchy. I can send you a link to the one that I got. It's actually it feels really stable. Oh, nice. Um, it's that queen, queen with the twin on top. But I don't know. It's probably like one, maybe like nine. just enough so it fits. Once you get some weight in your hands, that's 
Alright, so we got the two bunk beds in. I'm sleeping in the shed, but here we are at the outdoor boys' or Luke rather, his off-grid cabin here in Alaska. It's really really nice out here. It's beautiful. This is the uh shed that started on fire in one of Luke's first videos of it. Oh crap, that's on fire. Luke's going to be building some furniture. I think I might see if he wants me to cook dinner. I think he said they had tacos ready to eat, but we're at some groceries, so I'm going to see if uh, see if he doesn't mind if I cook. Were those boba, were those boba jellies good? Yeah, they actually all, but the taste actually changes. Do you want to show everybody your hideout spot? Your fridge hideout spot? Hey, that's pretty cool, Jacob. That's sweet. Get the flies up there. You got the fly swatter. That's awesome. Building new furniture. Hey, are you guys hungry? I heard you guys like Japanese style mabu tofu. Yes. I heard that you like that stuff. That's my actually. That's actually my favorite food in the whole world. It's your favorite food in the whole world. I haven't tried it, but I did bring all of the stuff to make it. All right. Well, Luke's building some furniture. I'm gonna cook up on that. Tofu. Some ginger and garlic, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. As much as I love that song, YouTube will not like me for a second. Sauce going in. It smells good. I did add a little bit of extra pork, but are you guys going to complain about that? No, no. Okay. Like pork. This soft tofu is tough to grab, huh? There we go. Can I shake it on you? You just pour, do you just pour this in the water? You open the bag? No, 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 just up the whole bag. Okay. The bag and all. <laughs> Wait, the whole? Yeah. Oh. Oh, did you open up the bag? I did. Okay. So you just boot like that. My bad. No problem. It's my fault. Do you have another third yeah, bag? Sure do. Okay, sorry about that. I've never done that before, so. Is all done? I have nine of those screws. <laughs> Some extra beef in there or pork in there for you. All right, for you first. Thank you. You're very welcome. Oh, look at that! Legit. Hopefully, it tastes good. It's my first time trying it. Okay. All right. Who wants this much rice? Me. Okay. Everybody. Everybody wants that much rice. Okay. All right. There you go, sir. A little more. A bit more. That looks perfect. Sweet. Enjoy. A spoonful? Yeah. Like this kind of spoonful? No, a bit less. A bit less, I'm sorry. Well, that's no, too no, fine. it's fine. It's fine. There you go. Thank you very much. You're very, you're very, very welcome. Thanks for having me here. Is it spicy? Yes. Like really spicy? Yeah. Uh-oh. It's good? Thank you. The tofu is amazing. Nice and soft? Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Moba tofu. What? You guys enjoying? Is it I good? I love how mm -hmm. soft the maba tofu is. Just you like the tofu? Yeah. Mm. You get the soft tofu. <laughs> Sweet.
No. Oh, that's good. The tofu goes from sweet to immediately spicy. Oh, that's good. Mm. It does have a little more bite than, than, than they're probably used to. Yeah. But you guys like it, though? Mm -hmm. I might have added an extra scoop of the, the red stuff. Good. Well, some Baba Dofu recipes are, are have like a lot of fire to them. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we always got the mild, mild kind. That, that looks like chili pepper. I'm yeah. gonna The food was delicious. Yeah. I definitely put a little bit too much of the red spicy stuff in there, but I think that's traditionally how it's supposed to be. But I thought it was awesome. I thought it was awesome too. <laughs> I appreciate it, Luke. Thank you. Do you know how hot a hot tub is? I don't know, to be honest. You would cook yourself in 140. Yeah, 140 is a good sous vide temperature. Yeah, you'd be a medium rare steak. You want to know something interesting, Tom? Yeah. Shower mode? Okay. The diagram looks like I should have Dad, don't worry. three more. I can get you uh -oh. one. And, uh, but you know, you might want to hold the thing tonight. <laughs> yeah, that would be a little. But uh, you know what I could do too is I could just scrounge. The matches you're not using out of the other one. Okay, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. See you guys. See you in the morning. <laughs> all right. Home sweet home for the night. The shed. All the boys are back in the cabin. We finished building the couch and got to hang out with them while they were enjoying their evening pudding. So I'm going to get my bed set up in here. All cozy. I think Luke and I are going to head out and try to burn some of the cardboard mess we made. Thing that happened really I didn't show you was that uh was that when Luke came out here to dump out the sink bucket there's mice in the bottom of it so they were probably attracted to the food that was in it and ultimately ended up drowning in the food soup so nice nice uh double use there for their sink bucket it's a mouse trap I was telling them that I also at my pole barn shop where we keep all the vehicles we made a mouse trap out there that is just a five gallon bucket with peanut butter in the bottom and mice find their way in there and find eternal sleep. Tell you what, I hopefully don't find eternal sleep inside of this place. There's no shortage of flammables inside this cabin. I think we'll be good. It's already pre-fired, so. We're, we're fine. Leave here by nine? Yeah, so okay. I'm probably gonna get everyone up by seven. Okay. Yeah, I've got a little, little bonfire down the night. Hanging out on the beach. Burning some cardboard. Ready. A little true fuel on it. 50 to one. Yeah, here we go. It'll find it. Oh yeah. Yep. There you go. <laughs> there it goes. See, now having these on doesn't seem so crazy. I didn't know Alaska had such nice beaches. All right, Luke, see you in the morning. Thank you. All right, see you. It was a good fire. All right. Shut this for warmth. Not super worried though, because I did pick myself up a nice negative nine degree sleeping bag today. So we're gonna get to test it out together. See how good it really is. Oh. 
Well, it's not supposed to be getting super cold here tonight. I think it's getting down into the 20s. But I'll be toasty in this bag. Long day driving, digging out snow, and meeting new friends. It's been a good one. up like a rock and stayed very warm I hate those stuff sacks for sleeping bags they're just terrible You guys are so quiet over here. I didn't know if you're gonna be awake or not. Oh, okay. You know, only when you can't really Do you guys know if you have plastic forks or spoons? I don't know. Or are you just using metal ones for breakfast this morning? Yeah. A little bit of oatmeal for breakfast and some Donald Duck. Drying off my socks. Seem like they're dry now. Nobody likes starting off the morning with wet socks, eh? Mm -hmm. to get stuff packed away, getting the trash taken care of, and snowmobiles covered up before he takes off and leaves him sit for a little while. It is crazy quiet out here and peaceful. everything up got a whole sled loaded full of stuff and three kids and a map to get back okay i'm going up into the <laughs> Have a good Sunday. All right, all loaded up and ready to go. Made it back in one piece. Super fun hanging out with Luke, Jacob, Nathan, and Tommy. Thanks to them again for having me out at the cabin. 
If you guys haven't seen his videos for whatever reason, I'm going to leave a link to their channel down in the description below. But as always, until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.